Oh, it's, no, it doesn't matter whether you're popular totally or not, Big though. Brother is all about being shocking, and he's, do, he's, he's out to shock Big Brother. And, he, you know, he's a normal guy, a porn star, and I'm Team Benedict, because he's going to win Big Brother. Love he's a man. Very quickly. OK, I think he's a man. He's got sexual needs. I think... OK, didn't he say... No, no. I think he exposed it to everybody because he didn't get caught out. But Don't he's a man. He just wanted that. That's what it's yeah. all about. We could go on about Benedict all night, couldn't we? Uh, that's what this lot think, but as ever, we want to hear from the wisest man in Boreham Wood. Who's that? It's Jamie East. Yeah. Uh, this is what happened when Jamie met Benedict and Lauren. You're going to make me look like a fool. No, I'm not. I do. <laughs> What's your oh. name? Uh, Benedict is my name. Benedict? Yes. I'm Jamie. Lauren. Second Benedict I've ever heard of in my life. Oh, really? Apart from eggs. Do you think Jesus, if he was alive now, would wear Crocs? No idea. <laughs> What a question. Have you got one of those porno bloke cocks where it's, like, really brown and knobbly? <laughs> What's been your weirdest sexual experience? You know when you leave, like, an old leather glove out in the sun? Don't really think I've had any weird sexual experiences. I'm quite a good girl, so, uh, yeah, yeah just the normal stuff. <laughs> Would you ever punch a horse in the mouth? So I was put off by horses. Oh, uh, 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 oh this isn't about a film, is it? Don't just stare at me like that. Uh, 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 do stupid people know they're stupid? Probably not, otherwise they wouldn't tend to be so stupid, would they? I think it's very difficult to call someone stupid. I mean, there's people who've had... I do it all the time. Piece of piss. You insinuate that I'm stupid. <laughs> Why is the Euro fucked? I'm a student at the moment, and my papa pays for me, so I'm not bothered about that. <laughs> I studied politics, but I'm no great e economist here. Uh, but because many of the countries don't have the value... You should be thinking of the future, you should be thinking about your children. Yeah. I, could see, I could see the glazing. I just didn't understand a word he said. Uh, it's been a pleasure to meet you. You too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's a bloody lot of question, fucking hell. Jamie thinks, we know what the audience think, and we even know what you lot at home think. But, <laughs> these are really heavy. Uh, what do the people who know them best think? We have got Benedict and Lauren's friends on the phone. Uh, we're going to give them exactly 60 seconds to tell us why you guys should save them tomorrow night. So, first up, it's Benedict's friend Tracy. Tracy, can you hear me? I can hear you. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing really well, thank you. Good. Okay, so you've got 60 seconds on the clock. I'm going to ask you some questions, and you need to sell, sell, sell. Okay. Uh, your time starts now. So, why should Lauren go tomorrow night? Uh, Lauren should go tomorrow night because I think she's um, not as a able as Benedict to cope in the house. I think Benedict will have a lot more to show throughout time. There's so many facets to his personality that I think it makes him much more interesting to watch. Does, um, does he always share so much? He shares absolutely everything with you. Every single personal detail in his life he will share and talk and talk and talk about. He's really warm and compassionate, and, but he's really witty and he has a dry sense of humour and that's part of his personality and that will come through when he talks to you about everything in his life. Um, are you surprised by his honesty in there? No, I'm not surprised at all. He, as I say, he's like that with everything. He shares everything with all of his friends and family. Um, I just think he's being really true and honest to himself and... Although he's not playing a game, he is playing the game the right way because he is big. You gone. Uh, thank you very much, Tracy. Next up, it's Lauren's mate, Jonathan. Jonathan, can you hear me? Jonathan? Have we got Jonathan? Or have we lost Jonathan? <laughs> Lauren, what the hell's going on? Is Jonathan on that phone? <laughs> Talk. Hello? Jonathan. <laughs> OK. Hello. Apparently, we should have a card in front of me with uh, Jonathan's answers on and what he's going to say about Benedict, but that card doesn't seem to be oh, here. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, are we going to get him back, or is, is uh, Benedict Hello. going out in front tonight? Can you hear me? Is he there? He is there. He's here. Hello? Jonathan? Can you hear me? <laughs> They just love live television. It's great when it goes this well. Uh, we'll try and get him back after the break. Uh, that's what one of... <laughs> I 
tell that you're still trying to get him. <laughs> well, tell him we'll try and get him back after the break. Uh, so that's what their biggest fans think, or at least Benedict's biggest fan. Uh, but what do our biggest fans reckon? We would love you to get in touch and share your valid opinions. Information should be on the screen now. Uh, still to come, Abs and Carol will be in the reality gallery telling us what's going on in the house. Plus, we'll be learning about reproduction. Who says that this show is not educational? We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother's Down the Side. Now, hopefully, fingers crossed, Lauren's mate Jonathan is going to be on the line. Jonathan, are you there? Hi, Emma. Yay! I've got 60 seconds. Please don't go anywhere. Uh, oh, to answer some questions and sell, 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 sell Lauren. Uh, okay. Right, your time starts now. So, why shouldn't the public say Benedict? Well, don't say Benedict because um, Lauren's gone in there, been genuine from day one. Now, it's unfortunate there's been some real bitching in there from other contestants, namely Ashley. So, hopefully, that'll all iron out. Now, the public need the, to restore confidence back in Lauren and she will be back to her genuine bubbly self and she's going to win the show. She's fantastic, energetic, enthusiastic and we're all here to support Lauren so okay. keep her in, keep her safe. Uh, does she eat anything other than bacon roll? Yeah, she eats um, other stuff. French bread is a popular um, favourite food didn't of hers. Eat bread. So get that in and she'll be fine. She said she didn't eat bread. Oh, French bread, that's oh. fine. No oh, more sorry, out darling. of the question. Um, do you think Lauren has been misunderstood? By the rest yeah, of the house. I, th I think so. Some of the other girls have portrayed her as a little bit of a um, sort of, well, they've not took her on, under on her side, so I don't really agree with that. But she's definitely genuine. We got you. Now you're gone. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's it. Now it's up to you guys. And here's how you can do it. This is how you save your fave. So, uh, there's just a few things that I'd like to share with you all. Uh, when I was four, I had a really nice time. Really nice time. Uh, then when I was about 26, I had the opportunity to work with Dave Berry and interview stars such as the Cheeky Girls and Tattoo. Uh, I even met Craig David, who once asked me out for a drink, but I said no. What do you mean you don't want to hear all this? Would you like to hear the news instead? Yeah. Okay. At 2.23 this afternoon, Lauren chooses Dina to take part in a karate masterclass, but Dina isn't as up for it as you'd think. I was the one missing the karate, but I have my black belt, so I need a black belt. I can't wear a white belt. <laughs> Are you for real? Yeah. Are you serious? Serious. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I work, I work, I work seven years for my That's black belt. I joke. can't go out in a white belt. That's a joke. <laughs> I can't believe it. I worked seven years to get my black belt. I'm not walking out in a white one. It's a game show. It's a <laughs> joke. It's a fucking joke. It's a bit of fun. The guys are leaving. It's a bit of fun for them. Motherfuckers. <laughs> fucking fuck. Jesus. <laughs> Give me the black belt. I'm black belt. <laughs> 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 She is well hard, man. Don't mess with Dina, she pop ya. Um, at 328, Benedict gives some of the housemates a lesson in sex. So today's lesson then, boys and girls, is sex education. And I want you to give me another word that you know of for penis. Cock. Cock, fabulous. Oh, Willy. Willy. Oh, she's Scott. Got my one. Okay, so we've got cock and Willy. There should be another one, I'm sure. Dick. Dick, okay. <laughs> to masturbate. Spank the monkey. Okay, a term is fine. Yep, to spank the monkey. Zara. Oh, oh, oh. Pleasuring yourself. Pleasuring yourself. Oh, Caroline. That's a very nice one. Is there another term? I don't know any. I think there's a common one that you're not mentioning. <laughs> I, I think you may have heard of the term to wank, yes? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> they just said cock. That was really funny. Sorry, I'm so childish. Uh, but what have we learned today, children? Well, uh, that Paul Star Benedict gives great extracurricular lessons on extracurricular activities. <gasps> oh. At 1848, this evening, <laughs> Lucas gets a bad taste in his mouth. <laughs> oh, my fucking Did God. You, you didn't make it? Yeah, I made it. You made it and drank it? Because I didn't know, did I? No, you no, didn't know. No, no, that's fucking <clears throat> disgusting. Oh, I can smell it. Have you done it? Or has someone done it as a secret task? 
Big Brother has not touched your protein powder. This fucking place is fucked up, man. <laughs> you literally can't trust any. Like, there's no. I was saying to, to I was saying to Connor before. Someone's fucking put curry powder in me, and <laughs> I've just gagged. I've just been sick. So <laughs> whoever's done it, it's worked because it's pissed me off. Next thing you know, he'll be blaming uh, the bit on the side crew or something. My guess is it's the work of the cheeky prankster Aaron. What do you reckon? I think it might be. Uh, so that's today's news. Should we go over to digital? I can't quite get myself together now. I don't really know what's going on. Uh, Haley's here in uh, digital for a catch up. So wh what we is have happening? An exclusive for you. If you want to turn around and take a look You've at got, this. This is exclusive. Exclusive. Okay. Benedict. Ooh. The little cheeky monkey. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Now, he doesn't know, right, Lucas? Doesn't know yet. Um, Luca, none of the housemates know apart from Aaron and Luke, who were in on it last night. <gasps> so, but nobody else knows. And when they find out, there's going to be trouble. Oh my goodness. Um, so, what else has been going on? Um, it's been a busy afternoon or busy evening. Um, What's the, happening with the argument? Um, the kick off, it's calmed down a little bit. Um, they kind of, there's been a little bit of interaction between them and they seem to be okay now. Um, but yeah, things seem to be on an even footing, I think. Okay. So. Um, thank you so much. We haven't had time to go up to the reality gallery, which is a shame. Uh, but that's it. We are out of time for this evening. Join me again tomorrow for eviction number three, when our neighbours are going to be popping round. Not only will Brian be here, but Madge Bishop and Joe Mangle, yes. which are uh, Anne Charlson and Mark Little from Neighbours, will be in the studio. Have a wonderful night.